How to set up a Raven 450 rate controller and run a self-test to ensure everything is running correctly before in-field use. First, fill your NitroGro applicator with 100 to 200 gallons of water to perform a water test during the nozzle flow check. Water testing your NitroGro applicator includes a visual inspection of all the fertilizer hoses and fittings to locate and fix any leaks that may occur before any fertilizer is in the system. Connect the Raven 450 brake controller harness to the Raven 450 console mounted in the tractor and to the provided 16-pin connector that comes standard on your NitroGro applicator. After powering it up for the first time, the Raven 450 console will prompt you to select the units, speed sensor type, and valve type. Press the CE button to toggle between the selections and the enter button to select. Select the appropriate units. Select SP2 for speed sensor type if using the Phoenix GPS speed sensor or radar. Select CP PWM valve. Next, select boom cal. Select enter to edit the value and enter the correct boom section width in inches based on your NitroGro applicator model. Press enter to save the entry. Next, press the up arrow to toggle to the next boom section width. Repeat the process until all boom sections are entered. There will be either three or five sections depending on which NitroGro model you have. Next, select Speed Cal and enter 785 if using the Phoenix Speed Sensor. Select Meter Cal and enter the Flow Meter Calibration Number, which is found on a sticker connected to the Flow Meter. Select Valve Cal and enter 43. Using gallons per acre, select and enter your desired rates 1 and 2. Select Volume Tank and enter your NitroGro's current tank level. Next, select Data Menu and use the arrows to toggle to High PWM Offset. and enter 225. Toggle to low PWM offset and enter 50. The high and low PWM offsets can be narrowed later to increase the PWM reaction time to your desired rate. Toggle to PWM frequency and enter 122. To run a self-test, select self-test and enter the self-test speed. This is only a simulation speed so you do not have to be moving to run the self-test. Start with a lower speed and rate when running a nozzle flow check and water testing for the first time to keep the pressure down in case there are leaks on your NitroGro applicator. After confirming there are no leaks, increase the speed and rate to desired levels. Engage the pump hydraulics to turn the master switch on to start the self-test. To reduce heat buildup in the system, start the hydraulic flow as low as possible and turn the flow up until the desired rate is reached. If everything is working properly, the actual rate should quickly adjust to the desired rate, in this case 45 gallons per acre. If the rate is slow to react, the high and low PWM offsets may need to be narrowed to decrease the reaction time as mentioned earlier in this video. 
This is also a good time to water test your nitrogo applicator and check for any leaks. In addition to a self-test can be used to winterize your nitrogo applicator with 100 gallons of RV antifreeze. Please see operator's manual for more details.